Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I decided I would go ahead and share with you, uh, even though it's on the Prophecy Club, and the last, I don't know, seven, eight minutes is Stan talking about his books and whatnot. But somebody sent this to me, and he's telling about somebody else's prophecy that they got and it's you may have heard of it already you may have watched this I don't remember who sent it to me but it the title of it is will Seattle be nuked November 3rd now it's not just Seattle which is what has been shown in predictive programming it is a, a I'm at the 1 minute 11 second mark. Oh, that's odd. 111. I didn't even notice that till just now. I'm going to play it for just a little short while so that he can read to you instead of me summarizing it. It'll be better. You, you know, I think you'll it'll come out better. So I'm gonna, just going to play a little bit of it. Okay, go. Now, here's how this all started. So I checked the Hal Turner website as I do a few other websites along with all of our emails. And by the way, thank you for all of you people that do send me information to askstan at prophecyclub.com. I get a lot of information like that. And that's where a lot of the broadcasts come from. So anyway, I checked HalTurnerRadioShow.com and the headline is Intel or Insanity. False flag nuclear attack, Seattle, Washington, Los Angeles, November 3rd, and this article is dated October 29th. Now, let me read it to you. Prior to the attacks of 9-11, German intelligence notified then-President George W. Bush of a terrorist plot to hijack planes and fly them into buildings. The president did nothing. The attacks of 9-11 occurred. Now, the Germans are alerting us again to a nuclear, quote, false flag attack upon Seattle, Washington, this Sunday, November the 3rd. Now, he says, is this intel or insanity? He goes on to say, quite a number of people believe that television provides us with, quote, predictive programming, which foretells major events so... When ABC Television began running its promos for their show, The Rookie, showing cell phone alerts for inbound ballistic missiles to Los Angeles appearing on police cell phones dated November the 3rd, some people took notice. But if there actually is such a thing as predictive programming, then some folks say Seattle may be doomed this Sunday. The info below is from sources in Germany. It paints a compelling picture of a planned false flag attack during which, quote, a million people get killed in Seattle this Sunday, November the 3rd. I began watching this YouTube video. It's about 26 minutes long. And this fellow speaks with a very strong German accent. And in my opinion, he's rather difficult to understand. However, I watched probably three-fourths of this and the guy has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of reasons why he is saying that there's a high probability that Seattle, that's right, as in Seattle, Washington, you know, where the Space Needle is, is going to be nuked this Sunday, November the 3rd. Now, what do I think? Okay, so in his description box here, his comments are turned off, says. There is order the occult gift offer here. Yes, he or he goes over all these offers. I'm trying to find the video. He should I didn't look to see if he had order this, order that. View, download, prophecy club newsletter, visit us online. Okay, see, that's just wrong. The vid YouTube video he says he watched with the old 
the man that was German, hard to hear, isn't linked here. Now that's that ain't right, but but I'm telling you this. You, you should listen to it and take it to prayer. Today's the 31st. You have the 1st and the 2nd. If you feel in your heart the Holy Spirit confirming this, or even if a, a just in case, and you know somebody, like my brother is in that Los Angeles area, and if they're talking about one suitcase nuke, in each of, I think there were seven cities in all. He said Illinois, so I'm thinking Chicago. Well, I got a niece, her husband, and two children there. I mean, I don't know how many people are in Chicago. I know it's a lot, but they're big cities, all of them. Uh, probably Manhattan. I don't remember them all. But I, I just got, I just kept feeling like, there's something I was supposed to share. There's something I need to share. And, and the Lord brought it back to my attention about this that I watched yesterday. So I'm putting it out there as a watch watchwoman saying, you know, I don't want to be saying, you know, I don't want to. Here's what I know. Here's what I know, people. Satan and the, uh, through the Jesuits, CIA, Illuminati, whoever you know is it's, it's the the deep state, the black ops. I don't believe it's the good regular military, but there are factions of each military that are in on them. They plan these things. That's why he called it a false flag. He got, this German guy supposedly got intel from 9-11. I had heard George Bush knew about it. That the country knew about it and did nothing. Why? Because it was a false flag. It was meant to happen. We, I say we, the CIA planned it. And had some terrorist guys lined up, taught them, sent them to the flight lessons. They weren't in those planes, but they were shown coming through the airport. They had patsies, just like Lee Harvey Oswald. It's the same kind of thing. And whatever it was that hit those Twin Towers, uh... I wonder, where did all the people go? Did they just kill them off? Are they underground? Were their families promised bunkers underground if they all just shut up and don't say a word about it? And remember that Lisa uh, wrote a book and went on TV giving interviews about her husband being such a hero for gathering the men together and uh, rushing the pilots, the terrorists that were flying the plane over Pennsylvania that supposedly hit and made that big, deep ditch that looked like a meteor hit it. No sign of life. No sign of a piece of a plane. Not a piece of rubber tire. Nothing. There was no plane accident there. But yet all the people were dead. And that Lisa... Whatever, her husband supposedly was the hero. Well, him and the few men that were in on it with him. Where'd they go? Where are they now? <laughs> well, anyway, when you think about 9-11, you know it's possible. But, but here's what I started to say. Satan and his minions, the CIA, the black ops, the deep state, they make these plans. They put them into their predictive programming, planning all along to do them. But God might say, uh-uh, it ain't time yet, and you're not doing that. 
but it so somehow they get caught before it happens now here's how i know this and what they'll do satan will have some demons get into some people here that either believe they're hearing from the lord know they're not hearing from the lord but they take that message anyway put it on youtube and they're hearing from lying spirits i don't know what you know it okay let me go back about six years there was a young man who kept getting messages from the lord three four five times a day one day his message was that a suitcase nuke was going to blow up Charleston Harbor or Charleston Bay or somewhere out there in South Carolina, okay, at the bay, the harbor. All right. Somebody reported from down in Texas that two suitcase nukes or nuclear bombs I'll put it that way they may not have been suitcase nukes two nuclear bombs went missing so somebody was on the ball alright that information came out later in the meanwhile those bombs are on their way to Charleston Harbor and the young man said that Charleston Harbor was going to blow up on Oct October 6th. I remember this. With my memory, I remember it. It didn't happen. On October 8th, the Russians reported, noticing at what we were reporting, an earthquake went off down in the ocean, so many hundred miles off Charleston Harbor. No, that was not a natural earthquake, and the Russian equipment picked up on it and said this was a man-made, a bomb, a man-made explosion caused that equipment to look like an earthquake. I don't know how they tell the difference. Don't ask me. But here's the thing about it. It came out right after that. Obama fired a lot of admirals and generals, top military people, and replaced them with his own uh, choices to be generals and admirals who would obey him. Because a general of the army and an admiral took it upon herself to take those bombs out to sea and have them taken down and exploded under, underground in the ocean. How can I prove that? I, I don't know how, I don't know how to I'm, I'm almost certain the young man's name was Wilkerson or Wilkinson. But I can't remember his first name. Was it Kevin? If you could find if those vid... Surely he would have took that video down. Wouldn't you? But I, I, I can't prove it. How do I prove all that? I just remember the videos coming out saying the thing about Russia and another video about the admirals and all being fired. And that, that was big news because they were being fired for reasons like, oh, he was caught in the act of adultery. Oh, he was caught gambling in Las Vegas. We cannot have a compulsive gambler at the hull of a ship. R stupid reasons. Like a man can't take a week's vacation and go to Las Vegas and gamble or uh, and drink. Uh, he was an alcoholic, uh, gambling addiction. Uh, you know, they blew it way out of proportion. So he got fired for that, the admiral. And 
one of them, it was a sexual thing and an adulterous affair. I mean, oh, we can't have leaders like that. Oh, no, we got a tranny and a gay man in the White House, but we can fire this man for an adulterous affair, right? Oh, I got a number. Hold on, folks. Hold on to your hats. 834. Thank you, Jesus. File. Let me go to here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. I was praying for him. I said, Lord Jesus, I sure do want to hear from you. I really want to hear from you. I've been searching. 834. I'll start with the Greek. And the word is at. Strong's G, 834. Alletes. Oh, I apologize Alletes. to those that, where that comes through to that. I'm so sorry. All right, well, this is called, the minst this is a minstrel or a piper, a flute player, a uh, pied piper, hmm, minstrel. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, well, that doesn't help, does it? Revelation 18.22 And the voice of the harpers and musicians and of the pipers and trumpeteers shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Revelation 18.22 In who? Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. I think that's talking about America. Okay, let's try Hebrew. Eight thirty wasn't that eight thirty five? Let me make sure. Pipers. Eight thirty four. Okay, so I want Hebrews. Eight thirty four. Well, this is just Asher, a primitive relative pronoun, relative pronoun, okay, of every gender and number. All right, so, which, who, that, which, that, when, since, as, primitive relative pronoun. Okay, then I'm going to try one more thing. Let's see. I watched Cameron show how to do this. You go 834 <coughs> Bible Wheel. Okay. All the verses in the Bible with the sum of 834. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Full text of Hebrew and Greek Bible Gematria database. See, I'm not real sure how to use the Bible wheel. Wait a minute. Vision of a great wheel of God's spoken word, the archive, Bibles. This is BibleWheel.com. Form, archive, index for 834. I received this email. I love the pun on my spoken word. The connection between the eyes on Ezekiel's wheels and fountain of water. Hold on a minute. 
sometimes see I've never gone this far into it oh my gosh okay that's something that I will have to learn how to blow up um, I don't want to read more into it if any of y'all want to do more research on that you can but um, I'm not real sure about that maybe after you listen to the whole video up to the part where he starts advertising his books and tapes and all this which are really great deals and I'm sure it helps him to stay on the air or I think he's got a TV station but I'm not 100% sure about that he might not have it anymore I'm going to end this here and say uh, share it if you want tell folks if you think you should and uh, let's be in prayer against this let's say Almighty Father if this is not your will I pray right now that these suitcase nukes would be found in time by whoever you send calls on the bomb squad and the do uh, bomb sniffing dogs find them and they don't go off I pray that you would confuse the camp of the enemy confuse them when it comes to setting the codes whatever it takes if this is not your will if it is not your will as part of your judgment let this not happen in Jesus' precious and holy name, I pray, amen and amen. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and our internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. All right, with that, I'll end it now and say bye for now. I will talk to you later.